The following question is about uh, yield of reaction and the question states that in an, in an organic synthesis a 62% yield of product is achieved. So the yield is given, it's given as 62%. Remember that yield, the formula for yield was that it's the actual or experimental value divided by the theoretical value into 100 and that's the formula of yield. What this formula means is that theoretically if you do your calculations on paper if you're getting let's say uh, the output is 100 grams but when you actually do an experiment and a natural experiment the substances would not be pure and the conditions would not be ideal so so uh, your final output the actual output is going to deviate from the theoretical answer that you calculated on your paper so if you're th if you're thinking if your calculations show that 100 grams is it should be obtained and in reality 90 grams is being obtained so your yield is going to be 90 percent it's going to be 90 divided by 100 into 100 so that would come out to be 90 percent so the question is about yield of reaction and uh, it's an organic synthesis 62 percent of yield means that whatever you calculate in, calculate in theory the actual output is going to be 62 percent of what you just calculated so the question says which of these conversions are consistent with this information so you're given three reactions you have given uh, the first option is 74 grams of butanol getting converted into 44.64 grams of butanone. Uh, 74 grams of butanol is getting converted into butanoic acid, and then 2 methyl propanol is getting converted into 2 methyl propanoic acid. So I'm going to first pick option number one and uh, see whether this information is correct, whether this is equal to 62% yield. So uh, he's uh, given butane 2 all, so I've drawn butane 2 all over here and it's con getting converted into butanone, which is this thing over here. And the masses are given, so there is 74 grams of uh, butane 2 all. So I'm going to first figure out the moles of uh, uh, butane 2 all. So 74 is the mass divided by the molar mass, which is going to be uh, they, they have four carbons, so that's 12 into 4, plus there are a total of uh, this one oxygen, so that's 16, plus there are 3 plus 3, 6, and uh, 6 and 4, 10 hydrogens, so there are a total of uh, 10 hydrogens, so let's count that once more, 3 plus 2, that's 5, 5, 6, 7, and 3, 10. And that is a total, so the MR is also 74, so it's uh, if you do the calculation, it's going to be equal to one mole now if you have uh, one mole of butane to all according to the ratio one mole butane butane to all produces one mole of butanone so theoretically on paper uh, the amount of moles of butanone should be equal to one mole so one mole we can convert that into its mass uh, mass is equal to moles into mr so the moles is one we're going to multiply it by the mr which is going to be in this case, it's going to be, uh, uh, there are four carbons, so that's 12 into 4, plus there's one oxygen, so that's 16, plus uh, there are 3 plus 2, that's 5, and 3, 8 hydrogen, so if you total this, the mass comes out to be equal to 72 grams. So theoretical, your theoretical output, uh, the one that we used uh, is going to be, uh, the one we found using our calculations is 72 grams. Now we need to find yield. Now, yield is the actual divided by the theoretical. We have the theoretical value, which is 72. The actual is given in the question. It's uh, 44.64 grams. This is, your, this is your actual value. So, in reality, you're getting 44.64 grams. So, it's actual over theoretical into 100 and this comes out to be using your calculator this comes out to be exactly equal to 62 percent so the yield of the first reaction is going to be 62 percent so the first option is correct we're now going to look at the second option which is that you have butane one all and it's getting converted into butanoic acid uh, so uh, according to the equation it's one ratio one one butane one all is going to produce one butanoic acid so it's one ratio one so the moles of the two substances should be exactly the same uh, now you're given uh, uh, the, the mass of butane one all is given as 74 grams so you're given 74 grams you can find the moles using the formula moles is equal to mass divided by the molar mass which in this case is going to be 12 into 4 plus there are a total of 3 plus 2 plus 2 that's 7 7 plus 3 that's uh, 
10 hydrogens and one, one oxygen, so that's 16. If you solve this, uh, the molar mass is also 74, so this is equal to one mole. So theoretically, one mole is going to produce one mole of butanoic acid. Now, if one mole of butanoic acid is theoretically being produced, so the mass of butanoic acid that should be obtained would be mass would be moles multiplied by, so you have one mole multiplied by the molar mass of butanoic acid, which in this case is going to be 12, multiplied by 4, uh, that's uh, 44 plus you have two oxygen, so that's 32, 16 into, and then, then you have 3 plus 2 plus 4, 2, that's uh, 7 and 8 hydrogens, so that's 8. So if you total that, that's uh, 44. So I'm, I'm going to use my calculator, 12 into 4, which is 48, plus I have 32, plus I have 8. And using my calculator, the answer that I'm go going to get is going to be 88 grams. So this is my theoretical output on paper. Now I'm going to try and calculate yield of this reaction. Yield would be the actual which is given in the question if you if you scroll upwards uh, the actual mass is given in the question it's given as 54.56 grams so this is the actual mass that is being obtained so it's 54.56 grams the actual divided by the theoretical that we calculated it's going to be 88 into 100 and using my calculator I'm going to figure out the yield it's going to be 54.56 divided by 88 and multiplied by 100 and this is exactly equal to 62 percent so this is option number two is correct as well this also has a yield of 62 percent now we're going to look at the third option where you have two methyl uh, propan one all and it's getting converted into two methyl uh, propanoic acid so uh, again, the mass that's uh, given initially, you have uh, 74 grams. If you look at the question, we go back and look at the question. So you have 74 grams of 2 methyl propanol. So I'm going to use this 74 grams to find the theoretical output first. So I have uh, I'm given 74 grams, and I can find the I can find the moles. Moles would be mass divided by the molar mass, which in this case, if you add up everything, it's going to be 12 into 4 plus there's one oxygen, so that's 16, plus there are 10 hydrogens, so that's 10. If you do that, that's also 74, so this is equal to 1 mole. And according to the equation, 1 2 methyl propanoic acid produces 1 2 methyl propan 1 all produces 1 uh, 2 methyl propanoic acid, so it's 1 ratio 1. So the moles of propan, uh, two methyl propan, uh, one all are going to be exactly the same as the ones for two methyl propan, propanoic acid. So it's one ratio one. So this is also going to be exactly equal to one mole. We can find the mass now. The mass of this would be moles, which is one multiplied by the molar mass, which in this case is going to be there are four carbons. So that's twelve into four, plus there are two oxygens. So that's thirty-two. Sixteen plus sixteen, plus there are eight hydrogens. So that's uh, uh, going to be equal to 88 grams and finally if we go back to the question so theoretically I'm getting 88 grams but the output that is given is 54.56 grams so I'm going to I'm going to find the yield now yield is actual which is 54.56 grams divided by the theoretical which is coming out to be 88 grams multiplied by 100 and if you use your calculator this also comes out to be equal to 62 percent so third option is also going to be correct because that's also uh, the output is also equal to 62 percent so all three options are correct and this would be option a according to uh, the answer scheme